Aerial footage of Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant Tuesday provided a clear view of the continuing cleanup operation at the crippled complex, almost a year after it was struck by a devastating earthquake and tsunami. Japan's transport ministry last week reduced the no fly zone to a three kilometer radius around the plant. That's less than two miles, based on the latest survey measuring radiation levels in the air. The flyover arranged for the media was the first since the exclusion zone was announced following the disaster. Journalists also were escorted around the complex on the ground by plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company. They found the facility to be a thrown together patchwork, barely functioning despite a government announcement in December that Fukushima Daiichi is stable with minimal radiation being released from its reactors. <laughs> We still can't say the facilities are trouble free yet. In order to maintain stability, we need to make improvements. The media access came as details of an independent investigation into the disaster were made public. The report by the Rebuild Japan Initiative Foundation determined the Japanese government withheld information about the full danger of the Fukushima nuclear disaster from its own people. It adds that doing so also may have put U.S. Japan relations at risk in the first days after the accident. The document, compiled over six months from interviews with more than 300 people, delivers a scathing view of how leaders played down the risks of the meltdowns at the plant last March. The report also concluded that government oversight of nuclear plant safety had been inadequate, ignoring the risk of tsunami and the need for design renovations. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.